Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a problem where the yes button is appearing to be grayed out when you're trying to run commands or you're trying to open something up and the user account control window has no option to proceed. So this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle here and we're going to jump into it. So this primarily deals with administrator rights and if you want to be an administrator on your computer or for some reason your account got switched over to a standard user account with such privileges, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it. So first thing you have to do is get into safe mode and in order to do that you want to open up the start button. Just off calling the start button one time. Type in msconfig best match, should go back with system configuration, go ahead and left click on that, select the boot tab, and then underneath boot options, check mark where it says safe boot, and then select apply and OK. At this point, click on the start button again, and you will have to restart your computer, or if you get a little system configuration pop up here. So we're going to select restart. Make sure you are obviously closed out of any open programs or applications before you do that. Okay, now that we're in safe mode, you want to go select the start button, type in control panel, best match, should come back with control panel, go ahead and left click on that. Select user accounts, but make sure your view by set to large icons, you might not see it. So again, user accounts, select where it says change your account type, and make sure if you're currently set to standard, you want to select the administrator, and then you want to select change account type. So pretty straightforward, I'm already administrator here, so that's why I'm not going to change it obviously. But if you're a standard, you want to switch it over to administrator. Close out of here. And before you restart, you want to open up the start menu again, type in msconfig. System configuration should open up here. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the boot tab, and then uncheck where it says safe boot. Select apply and OK. Restart your computer here. And that should be about it. So once you restart your computer, the issue that you were experiencing should have been resolved. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.